When you go into DaVinci Eye, you'll see a screen like this. You press the little pencil icon and choose an image that you want to draw from. I'm going to work on this butterfly and I'm selecting AR mode. I have to create an anchor, so I'm going to press add anchor. There is a video to show you how to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So first you got to take a picture of it. I made this with some old stickers that I had around the house for my kids. You can use a playing card or you can just scribble on a piece of paper and that should work. Once I'm done taking the picture, I press the check mark and then I go into crop, which I'll have a video to show you how to do that as well. So you just crop it all the way to the edges of the uh, anchor that you're creating and then press crop. Now all you have to do is just measure the bottom of the anchor. Now that we have the anchor, we should be able to use it for the AR mode and we won't have to put it in for a future project that you have. So I've taped my paper in place and I'm also going to tape the anchor in place so that the anchor or the paper doesn't move and it will stay aligned as I move my phone around. Now I turn on move on the bottom left of my phone so I can adjust the photo to the paper that I want to draw on and get it to the right size that I'd like it to be. Okay now that I have it where I want it to be I'm going to turn off move, put on tools, go to camera and go fix focus so that it doesn't blur in and out as you're drawing. Now I'm gonna go through and show you some of the tools um, you can change the anchor, change the camera focus. My favorite is the strobe. I use this one a lot so I can compare my drawing to the original photo so I can get the really realistic pieces that I make. Torch allows you to illuminate your piece of artwork using the flashlight on your phone or other device that you may be using. Filters are fun too play around with. You can change the brightness of the image. You can put filters on it that make it look like it's more painted texture or even a sketch texture. This is really fun to just look and see what is available to make your pieces unique and different from other people's pieces of artwork. Breakdown mode is another tool that I really like to use, especially with my black and white pieces that I make. It's like paint by number, but black and white. You can change how many steps there are, and the more steps you put into it, the more detailed it's going to get. And then the last tool allows you to do a time-lapse video of your process of drawing, which is really cool and I use that one too. What makes AR mode different from the classic mode is you can move your phone whatever direction you want it to be and it will still line up perfectly to your paper. Now that you have it all set up, you can go ahead and start drawing. You can be creative with it. Uh, if you spend a lot of time on it, the more detailed it will be and the more realistic it will be. But it's all up to you. You're the artist. Today I decided to do a simple drawing because this was basically all about how to set up the device on your Android.
I hope you have found this video useful. If you have any general questions about the app, you can contact the creators by emailing them at info at davinciiapp.com. If there's anything that you want me to cover in future videos, you can comment on this video or you can email me at charitylowesart, dve at outlook.com. Or you can find me on Facebook at Charity Lowe's Art. Have fun with your creation, experiment with different mediums and techniques, and most of all, don't stop creating. I hope to see you guys in another video, and thanks for watching.